unlike photovoltaics that convert sunlight to direct current to produce electricity, we actually use the sun's energy to focus sunlight onto a boiler to create high temperature, high pressure steam, which is then used to turn a turbine to generate electricity. What I'm standing underneath is a heliostat, thing that holds two mirrors, and those mirrors are used to reflect sunlight onto the boiler that you see right behind me. What you're looking at here, totaling 392 megawatts gross output, is the equivalent of a medium-sized natural gas plant. We've eliminated the fossil fuel, and we're using the sun's energy to boil the water to make the steam. It's a trade-off. You don't have the nuclear waste lasting for tens of thousands of years, and you don't have the CO2 emissions from coal or gas-fired plants, but you take up a lot of space, displace a lot of plants and wildlife. There's uh, thousands and thousands of uh, square miles out here that um, had been crawling with tortoises back in the 40s and 50s that don't, no longer have tortoises, and to find a place that uh, still has that abundance of tortoises on it and to develop it um, was probably the real shame of it. The problem is now that we've got this shift where we're taking five square miles of public lands and putting mirrors on it, and it'll never come back. You're always talking about trade-offs. So the question is, can you develop a project and still be environmentally responsible and do it in a way that actually enhances the environment? We found, uh, when we came on site within the boundaries, roughly 173 tortoises. Uh, those tortoises were moved into our nursery where they were protected and uh, kept. And what we found now is after this time there is no statistically significant difference in the survival or mortality of those tortoises that have been moved. The ones you rescued are moved out to the side and they're, they're now living with the resident tortoises. Another thing, they try and go back <laughs> and, and they're found walking along the fence. I think the one ray of hope that I see is that, um, uh, like out the Desert Tortoise Natural Area, um, they've completely fenced that 40 plus square miles now. And uh, it's the only place I'm aware of where, uh, where tortoises are reproducing. When you're talking about fossil fuels, you have to factor in the land used for exploration, uh, extraction, processing, and then transportation. Here, we have a project that actually collects the energy and then converts it to electricity all within a single location. People sometimes forget this is actually a very efficient utilization of a sustainable energy resource. So a project of this size will avoid nearly 400,000 metric tons of carbon each year that otherwise would have been emitted.